there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park predictions video where today is the final of our mid season prediction videos from Merlin Entertainments. Now, this is the easiest of the three. This is the easiest of the three. There's one part that I've changed my prediction on, and I think you know which one it will be. Uh, so, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell for more YouTube videos. We've got some exciting content coming on the channel over the next few years, let alone. Uh, the next few weeks, uh, we've got um, theme park pack videos like the Alton Towers one. We've got uh, hopefully some merchandise launched in the next few years. There's some great YouTube projects that I want to do on this channel as part of this channel. Um, and I'll talk about them over the next few years because it's a dream. Uh, make sure you share the channel with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you keep getting in your shout outs, your video suggestions and also your questions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and we'll be able to get them in for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. And for now guys, let's get into another video. So, let's take a look at my Merlin Entertainment's 2021 mid-season predictions. So starting off with the Alton Towers Resort, and again, this is one of those that's the same prediction. There's only one that has changed, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But Alton Towers, it's the same. It will be um, basically the world of David Williams relaunched. Uh, now, I first now if this was opening in 2020, my first prediction from Alton Towers was uh, a new refurbished, renamed, and redesigned blade, like what Chessington's doing with the Blue Barnacle, which is, of course, the uh, former Black Buccaneer. Uh, I also predicted a new kids ride, like a, a Mac Kitty Coaster, like the Bar Express or Max and Moritz, over a, uh, like the Duplo Dream Coaster as well, um, or Nina's Science Lab replaced in CBeebies Land, uh, and also some general refurbishments. But we know what's coming. It will be the delayed World of David Williams. Now, this is a brand new area, for those of you who don't know, that replaced Cloud Cuckoo Land, or is replacing Cloud Cuckoo Land, which operated between 2009 and 2019, so 10 years. Uh, it's had plenty of attractions in that area in the past. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Twelve and Toadstool, the Driving School, uh, the Theatre, the Ice Age 4D, Wobble World. Uh, some brilliant attractions in that Cloud Cuckoo Land timeline uh, between 09 and 19. But, of course, this area is transformed. It's going to become the World of David Williams with the brand new attractions. So you've got... Cook Cars Driving School, which is uh, its own separate area, which is a bit confusing, but I'm sure that will be changed in a couple of years. I'm sure that will be part of the area, or maybe part of the towers. Um, we also have um, the Royal Carousel, which is the rethemed Gallopers Carousel. Roger's Bouncy Bottom Burt, which is a rethemed Frog Hopper, which is kind of confusing because we've already got two of these little uh, Kitty Drop Towers and Sea Beebies Land now. But the main headline attraction is Gangster Granny the Ride, a brand new dart ride manufactured by Derby based Garmondale. Um, hopefully, I want to chat to them at some point. I really, I really want to chat to them at some point about this project and about other projects they've done and how the company was started. So, if Garmondale are watching this, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, <laughs> um, and this whole area is just getting a full upgrade to look like the World of David Williams books. So. Uh, this is a brilliant new area, and I cannot wait for it to open in spring 2021. Moving into Chessington World of Adventures Resort, and my prediction was a croc-themed drop tower located in Forbidden Kingdom, replacing the old flying jumbo site, and of course the Hus Top Spin, now removed Ramesses Revenge. And that prediction has not changed. Now, I've seen some recent construction over the last couple of days, uh, since Chessington reopened the zoo, and construction is well underway on that site. Now, again, I think this is going to open in 2021, and I think it's a sign that the rainforest area will reopen with the rest of the theme park when government guidance gives them the the chance. The date of reopening for Alton Towers, Thorpe Park and Chessington and Blackpool and a load of other parks here in the UK is the 4th of July with measures in place. So I think with 4th of July looking to be the day and of course Blackpool Pleasure Beach have announced something very special which I'll do in a separate video. Um, basically we've got um, this rainforest area opening in 2020. That It already opened for like pass holder preview at the beginning of the year. But um, you know, Chessington have got this whole rainforest area and that's going to open with the rest of the park. So it's very, very clear the new drop tower will open on time in 2021 uh, unless something drastic is announced. Uh, but I think this is going to be a great attraction for the park and I think it will be uh, a fantastic um, attraction for the whole family. Moving in then to Gardaland, and my first prediction was a selection of new family rides and attractions as well as general park improvements. 
That has gone out the window because I think Garland are going to open the delayed Legoland Water Park. Now, this was scheduled to open this year. I think they're going to do an official launch next year in 2021, in the spring of 2021. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's this new Legoland Water Park. Uh, Lego themed water park. It's the only one in Lego, uh, the only Lego water park in Europe, if I'm not mistaken, which is very, very interesting. Uh, and a great move for Garland. It's a good Merlin IP move, uh, but I think Garland have got a great attraction. Of course, you know, you, you know the the cycle of investment for Merlin Entertainment. It's usually one park every year that gets the the big investment. And of course, this year was Garland's turn. Uh, last uh, in 2018, it was Alton Towers with Wicker Man. Um, as well as some other nice little investments around the theme parks. Uh, 2019, I guess you could call it a mixed year, um, in a way, because like every uh, every park sort of got okay investments. Um, in terms of like 2019, I think the only one really that you can say, well, hang on a minute, you know, it was it was a brilliant investment was of course the refurbishment of Colossus at uh, Heidi Park into Colossus. Uh, Land of Giants or something like that. So I think that uh, obviously it's Garland's turn this year. Um, obviously that'll be moved to next year. So um, yeah, it should be interesting to see who gets the next major investment for Merlin. Moving in then to Heidi Park, and again it's the same prediction: paint ups, changes, improvements, overall over uh, overall look out of the parks being you know refurbished and upgraded and you know resurfaced from the ashes, I guess. Uh, so I think it's going to be a general refurbishment year, maybe a family ride or two for Heidi Park. Uh, obviously they've got the Peppers Balloon ride, which is set to open this year. Um, obviously with Heidi Park opening up again, that'll be open. So. Uh, maybe they'll go for another family ride in a different area of the park. We know that the Mayan village areas, you know, closed off pretty much. They've got less and less attractions in that area. So maybe that's the next area for major development at the park. But again, that'll come in a few years. But I think Heidi Park are going to go for just a general park outlook year this uh, for, tw for next year. Finally then, Thor Park Resort. And this is the delayed... Uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, I first predicted new events around the theme park aimed at age groups and families, at all of them. Uh, but again, it's the same prediction for me, Black Mirror Labyrinth. I think they're going to go with some events. I think they're going to go with the same events they were going to do this year. Uh, like the Cybercharged Summer, or the Supercharged Summer, uh, the Hyper Spring, all that malarkey. I think they're going to still put forward with that again in 2021 to make up for not doing it this year. Uh, but of course, the main attraction is Black Mirror Labyrinth, and that's our brand new uh, live action maze experience walk through uh, walk through attraction uh, replacing the Walking Dead Living Nightmare. So that looks a pretty neat attraction. Thought Park are going to do a great job with it. Now I know a lot of people have been skeptical of Thought Park. You know, when's the next coaster? When's the next roller coaster? RMC, 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 RMC. Honestly, I think some people are bored of hearing RMC now. Uh, but you know what? I may be on my own here, but I generally like Thought Park doing these events, even though it's not a coaster. And I think the park will get a coaster in the next few years. But I like what the park are doing with these events. It makes them more well-rounded. It makes them more of a family. Or it gives them more of a family audience as well. Uh, and I guess that's you know that's the whole direction of the park. They want to go into, they want to invest for more families and bring the families back into the park because it's been it was a family park before. Then of course the fire happened in 2000, and then of course they went in the direction of a thrill park and they're trying to make it more well rounded. So you know I think that maybe Thought Park goes with more family attractions before they add a new coaster, but I think the new coaster will be worth the wait in my opinion. So I think that Thought Park doing these events is great and I think that Black Mirror Labyrinth is going to be a very good attraction for those of you who are uh, not scared and need their, their metal testing. Uh, but there we go. So thank you very much guys for watching this Melon Entertainment prediction video. So that is the end of our mid-season prediction video. So now you've got to wait. Now you've got to wait until... Start of August, mid-August, so maybe a couple of weeks into August for our final prediction videos. Because, of course, usually the Six Flags announcements videos uh, usually come out at the end of August. So a couple of weeks before that announcement video is scheduled to come out. It's nice to uh, do some uh, predictions, uh, the final predictions for Six Flags before the video comes out. Uh, so obviously that's going to be very exciting to do. And, of course, we're going to wait over the next couple of months now to see what's going to happen uh, with these new attractions, any attractions getting delayed till 2021. Cedar Fair again with Dorney Park, King's Dominion, are they going to announce the new coasters over these next couple of months and then we'll get a more definitive prediction. 
Uh, and of course, Melon Entertainment, we know what's happening with them. Heidi Park, we don't really know what they're going to do for 2021, but I sort of have an idea because it's going to be very off year. Gardaland, they haven't announced they're going to delay the water park, but maybe they will. And of course, we already know about Thorpe, Chessington and Alton. We know they're delaying their attractions as other UK parks are doing uh, this year. So, you know, they were very easy to predict. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this mid-season prediction video from Million Entertainment. We've got plenty of other great videos to come uh, over the next few weeks. As f Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to see a number of YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Charles, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have an awesome day.